What's good, Logic Gang? It's CJ Beats. We're back at it again today. Today, I got something real special. I'm going to show you guys how you can start collecting streaming royalties from your beats right after this. Thanks for joining me guys. So as I mentioned before, I'm gonna show you guys today how you could start collecting streaming royalties from your beats. Big shout out to uh, DistroKid. They hit me up on my email, asking me to do a video and uh, spreading the knowledge about this because a lot of you guys might not know, you know, all the different revenue streams uh, you can have from your beats. And it's super important to have multiple revenue streams and streaming your beats on platforms like Spotify, iTunes, and all of that is definitely one of the most important ways. So if you haven't heard about DistroKid yet, they worked with well-known artists like 21 Savage, Ludacris. You know, there's so many distribution platforms where you can upload your stuff uh, claiming that they're the best, but in all honesty, DistroKid is the one and only place you guys should upload your beats to. Reason number one is DistroKid will distribute your music on all major music platforms like Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, Pandora, Amazon, Google Play, all of those, plus 150 more or so uh, platforms. Reason number two is you get to keep 100% of all your royalties. They're never gonna take any of your royalties from you. Reason number three, they get your music onto these platforms 10 to 20 times faster than any of these other distribution platforms. Reason number four, for 20 bucks a year, I mean, that's crazy, $20 a year, Bruh. you get to upload an unlimited amount of tracks. Reason number five, again, you get to keep all your royalties and you get to set up split sheets. If you collaboratively worked on an album together or a song together, a beat together, you know, there's a lot of a lot of us producers like to do beat collabs and stuff. You could set up your split sheet, a 50-50, whatever it might be. So you guys split the revenue fair and square, no hassle, no questions asked. And they have a lot of other features that we're actually gonna go through in this video. So stay tuned. All right, let's jump into it. We're gonna switch over to my computer now, and I'm gonna show you guys the process of uploading music via DistroKid. All right, so first things first, head over to distrokid.com forward slash VIP forward slash CJ Beats. And that will actually get you a 7% discount for the first year of your subscription. So that's $20 minus 7%, whatever that might be. Just some more money that you could save on, uh, you know, your first year. And once you're there, all you need to do is enter your email, your password, and confirm your password to sign up. And then you could select your plan. I'm going to log into my account now, and I'm going to show you the upload process. Here we go. All right, so once you're logged in, go ahead and hit the upload button. And that's going to bring you to the upload page. All right, let's take a look here. Um, it says that my account has priority. Again, I have an upgraded account, so you might not see that. You get to take a look at uh, all the stores, the main stores, plus the 150 other stores uh, that you can upload your uh, your beat or your song to. It's a good idea to stick with the default and make sure that all of them are checked off so you have more exposure. So I'm gonna leave everything here the, the way it is in terms of where to upload it. You can see here, uh, Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, TikTok, Google Play and YouTube Music, Amazon, etc. All of them are checked off. So I'm only uploading one beat today, so that's gonna be a single. Then uh, is it previously released? It's not, so I'm gonna leave that at no. Uh, the artist or band name is gonna be CJ Beats. Artists already in Apple Music. Apple Music already has one artist named CJ Beats, and there are two artists named CJ Beats on Spotify. What? Impossible. All right, release date we're gonna keep at November 14th, 2019. Uh, pre-order now nah, I'm not gonna do a pre-order but it might be a good idea if you have like an entire album you've put a lot of effort into marketing that album and you want to um, you know do a pre-order on it the record label uh, is CJ Beats Productions LLC that's my publishing company and now I'm gonna select the cover it needs to be 3,000 by 3,000 that's a pretty big picture and uh, take note of what it says down here don't increase sizes of smaller images that you know leads to a lot of pixelation and stuff uh, stores will reject artwork that contains any website addresses, uh, Twitter names, you know, any handles of yours, don't put those in there. Any images that are pixelated, rotated, or poor quality, they're also going to reject any artwork uh, with prices or store logos on it. So don't put any of that stuff on there. Um, 
make sure this is your own artwork all right so that's uh very very important don't like you know upload if you're uploading type beats for example you know don't take an artist picture or something like that that's not yours and use that as the album cover try to be creative there's lots of ways of you know making these album covers if you haven't heard of this program called gimp i could definitely recommend that to you that's like having a uh, photoshop absolutely free it basically does all the things or the necessary things that photoshop does in order to make uh you know covers like this so uh Again, GIMP, I'll put a link in the description for that. The language is English, primary, the primary genre, um, I'll use hip hop and rap. All right, song title, let's uh, put that in here. Name of the beat is called Mountains. And uh, it states here, if it's an instrumental, uh, you should put the, uh, the word instrumental in the back of it. Okay, so it's uh, giving us a warning here. Looks like you may be using an exp uh, explanatory reference using words like instrumental, radio edit, version, extended demo, etc. Uh, here's what the stores require. Example one uh, is with parentheses, so you could do it like this. Example with two sets of parentheses uh, would look like this, but I only have one, so I'm going to use that one. If it's a collaboration with another beat maker or something like that, you could think of maybe using uh, the feature option, featuring the other beat maker, and yeah, so that looks all good. Let's go ahead and uh, choose the file. It's always a good idea to upload high quality versions of your beats, your songs or whatever. So I would recommend going with like a wave. All right, let's uh, go to the next portion here, songwriter. I wrote this song or managed the songwriter. It's an original tune. Okay, next up is songwriter's real name. So I'm gonna put in my first and my last name and my middle initial. And I'm gonna select music since it's an instrumental and uh, doesn't contain any, any lyrics. Uh, explicit lyrics, no, again, it doesn't contain any lyrics. Is this a radio edit? No, this is a clean song. It doesn't have any lyrics in it. Uh, instrumental, yes, it is an instrumental. And you can select the track price, 69 cents, 99 cents, and $1.29. I'm gonna set that to $1.29. Now we can take a look at these extra options that I was uh, mentioning before. So, first option is Instagram and Facebook. Add the single to Instagram's music in stores, which lets Instagram users easily add your music to their posts. And that might actually be really profitable for you. So, you know, if a company, a well-known company uses this, um, this instrumental for one of their commercials or whatever, uh, you know, and it gets a lot of streams, you can make extra revenue from that. So I'm going to check that off. You have the store maximizer. DistroKid will automatically deliver the single new online stores and streaming services as we add them. I'm going to leave that blank, but you know, if there's more stores that open up in the future, it'll automatically be, be added to those. Next option, this is a, a dollar a year. It's definitely a no-brainer Shazam and iPhone. So if someone hears the instrumental wherever in a club or something like that, and they want to know uh, who the instrumental is from, they can use Shazam or iPhone Siri uh, to, to look you up. So I'm going to check that one off. And then you have this leave a legacy uh, $29 one-time fee. This basically means that DistroKid will never delete this single, um, this beat, this song, whatever it might be, even if you die. I mean, come on. Let's head back up to the album cover. Totally forgot to include that. Go ahead and select my album cover for that. And let's scroll back down. Let's uh, take a look at the important checkboxes. All right, so I selected YouTube Music as a store. So I won't email DistroKid later saying, why did you upload my music to YouTube? Songs get uploaded to YouTube all the time and these uh, additional accounts get created. So that's fine by me. I'm gonna hit uh, select YouTube Music. I recorded this music and I'm authorized to sell it worldwide. Yes, and collect all royalties. I'm not using any other artist names, song titles or, um, or album titles without their approval. I've read and agreed to the terms of DistroKid. Yes. Okay, so we're pretty much done with this. I'm gonna hit done. It's gonna upload and boom we're done that was so easy it took me less than five minutes to uh, to finalize that upload now DistroKid is gonna start um, you know submitting this uh, this beat to all of the major music platforms that we checked off in the beginning let's take a look at uh, some of the other features here uh, get to work we made a pre-save page uh, to help you get more listeners let's preview that for a second that looks kind of dope here. So in the beginning of this video, I, you know, I mentioned that I wanted to show you how you can collect your streaming royalties. So it's awesome because DistroKid will actually collect all of those streaming royalties for you. And then all you need to do is put in your PayPal info. So if you hit bank at the top here, you could just enter your PayPal email address and then DistroKid will actually send you the funds directly to your PayPal. 
Another feature I wanted to show you was the teams. Again, if you're collaborating with other artists and you want to set up a split sheet, a split sheet is something that indicates who gets what percentage of the royalties of this song or this beat. You can easily uh, you know, select the release and then from there hit next and then add new team members. You can change the revenue share. So, uh, you know, if this is a 50-50 split, we can do it like so, 50-50, and then enter the email address um, of the other collaborator. That's how simple it is. Some of you might not have a big following and you're not getting enough exposure. So a nice way to get exposure is trying to get your beats or your songs added to playlists on Spotify that already have, you know, thousands of ears listening to it. And that will give you a chance to get noticed and get more plays. So I'm going to put some links in the description of this video that'll point you in the right direction to get your music onto these playlists. That's a really an awesome way to, uh, to get some more exposure. Big shout out again to DistroKid for letting me do this video. I really appreciate that. If you have any questions, concerns, whatever it might be, put those in the comments section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you're notified anytime I upload some new content. Be sure to hit my live streams up. I do weekly live streams where I listen to your beats and songs and critique them. My name is CJ Beats, and I'm out for now. Peace.